Muslims, they are Christians, but they have seen the truth. And everybody listen for me. And even in the OAU, if I don't speak, every leader try to ask why. Idi Amin, who became known as the Butcher of Uganda for his brutal despotic rule as the President of Uganda in the 1970s, is perhaps the most notorious of Africa's post independence dictator. Amin seized power in a military coup in 1971, ruled over Uganda for eight years, imprisoned or killed at least 100,000 of his political opponents. He was removed in 1979 by Ugandan nationalists after which he went into exile. Idi Amin Dada Oume was born around 1923 near Koboko in the West Nile province of what is now the Republic of Uganda. Deserted by his father at an early age, he was brought up by his mother, a herbalist and a diviner. Amin was a member of the Kakwa ethnic group, a small Islamic tribe that had settled in the region. I changed from Israeli alliance because Israeli are criminals. Amin received little formal education. In 1946, he joined Britain's colonial African troops known as the King's African Rifles. Amin served in Burma, Somalia, Kenya during the British suppression of the Mau Mau. Amin was also an accomplished athlete, holding Uganda's light heavyweight boxing championship title from 1951 to 1960. As Uganda approached independence, Amin's close colleague, Apollo Milton Obote, the leader of the Uganda People's Congress, UPC, was made chief minister and then prime minister. Obote appointed Amin as first lieutenant of the Ugandan army he was sent north to stop cattle stealing. Amin perpetrated such atrocities that the British government demanded he should be prosecuted. <laughs> Instead, Obote arranged for him to receive further military training in the UK. On his return to Uganda in 1964, Amin was promoted to major and given a task of dealing with the army in a mutiny. His success led to further promotion to colonel. 